I am uh, really proud to be here for the book launch of uh, Humans of Bombay. I, I don't agree with the title though because I don't think anybody in this book is ordinary. <laughs> These are all amazing, remarkable human beings that have shared their stories of love and compassion and strength and perseverance and just life. And uh, I am so proud of Karishma. I think I can say that because she's like a full decade younger than me. Uh, that at only 21, at just 21, she started talking to people and becoming interested in their lives and sharing and celebrating their humanity. And uh, not only sharing their humanity, she also started helping making a difference. Something that I was really touched by Karishma was the fact that uh, you gave 23 lakhs that the community of Humans of Bombay put together literally overnight to a person who had been falsely accused in a bomb blast case yeah. and had spent 23 years in jail. And uh, it's stories like this that this book is filled with and it's a real honor and privilege. No, it's my and I'm Thank so you. proud of you. May you Thank keep you. sharing stories and keep making the difference that you do. And um, all the best to you and the entire team of Humans of Bombay. Thank you, that's so sweet and um, just want to say that uh, I, we could not think of a better person to launch our book. Like we've, we were just like you're so aligned, you're so passionate, you're self-made uh, and now you're a mother and you're juggling all these roles so beautifully. Thank you so much for doing this. It's my honour. Well, yeah, this book is all about, you know, or, uh, ordinary people's special story, story and uh, the struggle and all the light. Uh, of them. Uh, any person whom you have met and uh, uh, that person's story has inspired you a lot? You know, I actually, while I was reading the manuscript when it was sent to me, it reminded me of a very powerful exercise that we were taught in acting workshop. And it's an exercise that helps you break false walls of ego. It helps you connect with um, your team members or your fellow cast, whoever it is. But most importantly, I think it just helps you discover that we're all human. And uh, it's an exercise called the circle, oh. where you sit together and you share mm. each other's life story. From the day you were born up until this point. You want to go back to your previous generations also, you can. <laughs> it's a very powerful exercise. Because many times, hum kisi ko dekhte hain, और उनको देखकर डिसाइड कर लेते हैं कि वो कैसा इंसान होगा। जब हम किसी से बात करने लगते हैं, हमको तब असलियत पता चलती है। I think that's what this, you know, whether it's the Instagram page or it's this book or it's just the effort to speak to a stranger. I mean, what Karishma did at 21 was what? Talk to strangers. हालांकि हमें बचपन से ये कहा जाता है कि अजान लोगों से बात मत करो। but uh, what you realize when you speak with strangers is that we're all the same. And the only thing that separates one person from another is their own unique story. Mm. So just as powerful as that exercise, I think, I, th I, th I thought that would be a personal, interesting personal thing to share with, with all of you. It changed the game for us on every film set, on every um, work experience that I had. I remember Barry John teaching us this. And um, it really brought, brought us close as a community, as friends, as colleagues. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we all know that how found you are of reading books, but what, what is the, that specific thing which, you know, attracts you the most about reading the book? You know, honestly, I am uh, somebody, I love reading fiction, but I prefer non-fiction. I'm very inspired by true stories. I'm very inspired by human stories. And uh, and that's why I think this this would be on my top must read. That's uh, sweet. Books. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> that's sure. so sweet.
Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Last question. We're not, we're not answering this. We're not answering this. I think the Bombay High Court has made the yeah. comment. We need it. Please. Yeah. 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 Uh, congratulations, firstly, to the center. Uh, uh, it's, it's been a long journey and a beautiful journey indeed. Uh, so tell us how it all started. You were from Bombay, a book launch today. Um, hi, thank you all for coming. Uh, my name is Karishma. I'm the founder of Humans of Bombay. Um, Humans of Bombay um, is my baby. I started it when I was 21. And um, today we have our book launch. Just uh, name Ordinary Stories, Extraordinary People. Hai. Um, these, these are stories of uh, people across India from Kashmir. Uh, to Chennai, to Delhi, to Bombay, to Pondicherry, to Bengal, um, all across India. And uh, it's a beautiful photo book uh, with lots of photos, um, compelling stories and narratives. And um, yeah, I hope you really, really enjoy it. So Karishma, ordinary people and extraordinary you know, stories. Like why, when and how did you get that idea? Uh, so actually we were brainstorming with Harper's Collins, that's our pub publisher and uh, we were thinking ki naam kya rakhe book ka kyunki uh, I, I have a, I have one book already it's called Humans of Bombay so wo naam uh, was out of question uh, so uh, for this uh, we thought that you know what is what is the essence so uh, we, we were thinking and brainstorming ki, you know when we've interviewed from a chai wala to a mendi artist they're all ordinary but unki kahaniya extraordinary hoti hai. so that's as we were talking the name just clicked and yeah we went so from there so in humans of Bombay we came to know that uh, you are picking up stories like right. normal uh, people or the rickshaws as you yeah. said uh, so we have we will see the same thing in uh, this book launch also uh, no so it's all across it's uh, all kinds of stories so in book book Ratan Tata se leke, uh, Rohan Joshi comedian hai. Uh, there is a chai wala there is a uh, a gatekeeper at Jaisalmer Kuldhara. So you'll find something for everybody. There's no theme of Okay, so it's as well, it's you Mumbai find... now, why you kept it Bombay actually? Uh, so actually when I started it, I was 21 and I felt very connected to Bombay. So uh, I think of an impulse, I named it Humans of Bombay and then it just stuck and we never changed it after that. So how but did you came with this extraordinary people? It's like how did you start it and how did this whole list of names came up across? Um, so when we started Humans of Bombay, it was inspired by Humans of New York. Uh, or many India chapter Chalukya. It was just inspired from Humans of New York. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that um, as uh, time went, uh, wo jo, that instinct ki Facebook page or Instagram page se kitab likhni hai was pretty seamless. So we have one book already. It's called Humans of Bombay. This is our second book and it's published by Harper's Collins. Right. So you have a huge uh, following on your social media as well, you know. Yeah. So like how much is this going to inspire your, uh, you, you know, because being a social, being on social, social media yeah. platform, you know, there are some kind of responsibilities. So how, how is this going to, uh, you know, uh, like, what kind of message is this going to give your followers and your friends? Uh, I think that at Humans of Bombay, we're now focusing on becoming um, a, a much larger company. Uh, we are a company. People often mistake us for an NGO or for, uh, you know, just a page. But we aren't uh, just a page. Aaj aap dekhenge, so from Pedro to JJ to Chambur, there are billboards of Humans of Bombay across Bombay. Uh, we're going to have installations at the airport. Um, we're doing eight, an eight-city tour in India. Um, and uh, yeah, I think the message is that uh, we're becoming bigger and better. So Karishma, you are a writer, you are an entrepreneur, you are a TEDx presenter also and a photographer also. So which one do you like the most to play and to work with? Writer. writer? I've, yeah, I've always been a writer. Okay, as you said writer, which, yeah. which is your favourite book? 
so I have a bunch. I mean, if I have to pick, uh, the first thing that came to my mind was Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling, because it inspired me to become a writer. And I started reading from there. Uh, but uh, I can't pick one book, but I love Chitra Banerjee. I love all her books. Uh, I enjoy uh, Ruskin Bond. Um, I, I, I can't pick one book, but... Uh, but any special recommendation that inspired you a lot that I should be a writer like that? J.K. Rowling, Harry J. Potter. Yeah, for, uh, I didn't know J.K. Rowling was a female uh, until I, I two, three years passed and then I realized, oh my God, she's a woman author and women can be authors. So then uh, I was very inspired by J.K. Rowling. So Karishma, you relate to like a more common people, more normal people. So is that any story behind that, that uh, you don't go like uh, what, the cliche type and uh, you don't go with the high living society, you keep calm, you keep low-key. Is that any story behind that? No, nothing. Actually, yeah. this is the essence of what we do. Or uh, full credit to the team. I don't go anymore to interview. Uh, we have a very talented set of writers and photographers uh, who make this happen. Uh, I'm just now behind the scenes. So uh, all credit to my team too. Okay, Karishma, there was a story like uh, when you're photographing on uh, near Taj Hotel, uh, some... Uh, people caught you and like this is not allowed here and yeah. something. Would you like to tell that? Sure, yeah. yeah. So I think it was when we just started one year and uh, there was a henna artist. So we were like, uh, we started interviewing her and then my photographer tapped me from the back and I just looked up and a hundred people waiting, uh, just seeing because he thought it was some TV thing. But yeah. actually we were just having a conversation with one camera. And then the cop came and said that this is uh, not allowed and jail jana and all of that. And I was like, no, I was 22. So uh, it was an experience. <laughs> yeah. Like any experience you would like to share with a writer, entrepreneur, and it's present uh, I think every, every day has been uh, such a learning experience for me. Everything, even this event, we've just kind of, uh, um, you know, like put together with so much hard work. Please, like, do take the team also. There's Unnati, there's Amit, uh, there's Kashish here. There are a lot more, but these are the guys who pulled it off. And uh, I think that hard work goes a long way. We have a very, very hard working team. When you're talking about ordinary people, uh, you must have come across lots of, you know, lots of people where you may be having lots of issues also. Like, you know, yeah. there are lots of issues in Mumbai. Maybe it could be education, empowerment, and lots of other things. So, which is something which is very close to your heart and you would really, really like to work on that particular thing. You know? uh, so, personally, I take up women and children uh, causes. That's what I feel so most. I'm just I mean, you have to just put your chairs in the center. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah so uh, I think women and children. So uh, we do a lot of crowdfunding. Uh, in the past uh, five years, we've crowdfunded up upwards of 15 crores for various uh, charity, for various individuals. Uh, but we look for women and children cases. So um, we funded the education of the daughter of a sex worker to send her to uh, a college abroad. Uh, we've um, funded uh, acid attack victims, we funded schooling, we funded education. Uh, we've, um, even during COVID, we actually raised two crores um, for Hemkund Foundation. And um, yeah, so I think that uh, giving back is very, very important to us. And this crowdfunding is the way that we see best to do it. Well, in the bucket list, actually, you know, yeah. lots of things, but then try. For in terms in, of in terms of your work only, in like where do I want to be? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that uh, it's it's a very open-ended question, but definitely we're looking at becoming um, more of a media house, a 360-degree media house. We already write content for our partners. We know everything content. So just kind of building on that, we want to get into films, we want to get into OTT. Um, hopefully every year we publish a book. Um, yeah, and we also are thinking of ways to give back more. So that vertical is definitely being uh, built up. Any plan with Dia? Like, you know, she's coming or maybe... No, she's <laughs> just she's just so aligned with whatever we do. She's for the environment. Uh, she's a mother now recently. Uh, she's self-made. Uh, she's an entrepreneur producer. So uh, I don't think there was a better person to come. Well, as you said that, you know, this is the second book. And uh, is there any more extraordinary stories so that you can come up with a third one <laughs> We have. We have a bank of 6,000 stories. I can print a new book tomorrow. <laughs> Just a matter of putting it together. But yeah, it's on. It's ongoing for sure. Talking about one story which has moved you, and which has moved Bombay. What do you think? Which one is it? Um, so there was a story of uh, Mr. Ali Bhatt. Uh, he was uh, um, a man from Kashmir who was wrongfully imprisoned for 23 years 
for he was put in jail for 23 years for a crime he did not commit um and randomly after 23 years he was released uh, without a single rupee in compensation so he spent his entire adult life youth and adult life in jail for something that he didn't commit uh, for a crime he didn't commit and uh, he lost his parents while in jail uh, he the love of his life got married to someone he's basically he lost everything to do with his life so we told his story um over six parts not one part because it was impossible to compress and um, we raised 23 lakhs for the 23 years he spent in jail because he did not get compensated and uh, after that his life turned around he set up a business and he also got married at the age of 49 um so uh, it just i think that was the most special story for us because it also proved to us that people want to give and people care and uh, you know um, when we broke the news to him that we've raised this money he started crying and said you know the world is not that bad and i think that um, that's what we do that we make people believe that the world is not that bad change lives also yeah so i was saying you raised money for the navy and people like that so uh, can we think you are going to open next ngo i mean something to do with giving back for sure yeah for sure yes definitely thank you thank you thank you so much with your yeah yeah i'll come